Welcome everybody and welcome back to Incompetent and today we're going to show you guys how to improve your FPS in the year of 2021. It's almost 2021 and Christmas time is literally right around the corner and that means everyone's probably going to be getting their new crappy laptop and they're going to want to know how to improve their FPS and even though there's been multiple videos made throughout the years I'm going to do it again and I'm going to show you guys and tell you guys how you guys can improve your FPS in eight steps and I'm not going to I'm not going to waste your time so if you guys want to know and if this is helpful please leave a like on this video will be greatly appreciated don't forget to subscribe because we are also posting daily csgo content and if you guys want a chance to win some free csgo skins all you got to do is follow the twitter link in the description and we do daily giveaways all you got to do to enter that is retweet and like and follow us there it'll be greatly appreciated and let's get into this and let me show you guys how you can improve your fps in csgo in 2021 all right here we are on the csgo main menu and basically we're going to take you through the first step what you can do to improve your fps which is literally just to let's turn down your settings turn turn down your settings right now i have everything literally on high so you just go to the settings menu and you go to the video tab and you realize you might have a lot of your settings on high so what you're going to do to want to play with lower settings which could potentially improve your fps so as you can see right here we're just going to go ahead and turn everything on low and i'll show you guys even what it looks like right now again it's on high so turn that all low boost player contrast disable that Multi-core rendering, disable that. Anti-aliasing mode, we're gonna put that to none. FXAA anti-aliasing, we're gonna put that to disabled. Texture filtering, we're gonna put that to billionaire, but by, I don't know, to the one with the B. Don't touch vertical sync. Do not ever touch motion blur and turn off Uber shaders. And then what you're gonna do then is go ahead and hit apply changes. And I turned everything low, but honestly, it doesn't look like it changed anything. But once you get into a game, you'll probably see a giant difference in the way the game looks. Another way you can help potentially improve your FPS is by modifying the aspect ratio because maybe your monitor isn't fit for what you're playing it on. So maybe turning it to 4.3 and then scaling it all the way down to 640 by 480, you, <laughs> you might have a potential chance to run your game a little bit better. I'm not going to do that because it look it wouldn't look as well, but that's another option you can choose to improve your FPS. Another thing you can do is open up console and hit FPS underscore max zero. And literally that takes all the limitations off of your FPS. So for example, if you did, you open up the console again, you did FPS underscore max 120, that would limit the amount of frames you have in CSGO to 120. So maybe you have a 144 hertz monitor and you have it maxed out at 120 then that means your game is just not going to look as good because it needs 144 frames to be able to have your monitor utilize how good it could look. If you are struggling to hit 144 frames, it could potentially be because you have it maxed out at like 60 or at 120. So again, just do FPS underscore max zero and that could potentially fix your problem for your monitor not looking as good as it could be. This next step might help you out a lot, it might not, honestly, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the search tab and you're gonna type in percent app data percent. And when you're here, there's actually a file called temp file. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna, see so you're on the roaming thing, what you're gonna have to do is hit app data, so you'll go back and then you hit that local file. And then once you're in here, you go down and you scroll down till you find this temp file. So you'll be in the, at the top right here, where you see my cursor, it'll say app data local, then temp. And basically everything that's in this folder is junk. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna highlight every single thing in this folder like this. And you're gonna hit delete on every single thing in this folder. And once you do that, it could be something that helps you out a lot, especially if you have a lower end PC that has a small amount of space on your computer. And right there it says I have recycled 717 items I don't know why all of these didn't clear the shit up, but you shouldn't have to worry about clearing anything that could potentially make you lose something. None of it's really important. I don't know exactly. I'll have to go in and do look at that myself, but clear that folder out and it should help you. So this next step is actually kind of important and it may or may not affect you. It doesn't really affect me, but on my old computer, it really used to. So what you're gonna hit is control shift and escape, and this will pop up your task manager. It's on my other monitor, so you can't see it right away, but here it is. And what you'll see is CSGO is open. And what you're gonna do for that is you're gonna hit, you're gonna right click CSGO and it'll say go to details. And you'll go to details. And once that pops up, you'll see it in the details tab. And you're gonna right click it again. And you're gonna set your priority on CSGO to high. And by doing this, it'll focus a lot more on CSGO. Your computer will, and you could potentially get more frames in CSGO. What it also could potentially do is like max out your CPU 
or your memory and then cause you to just not even get any frames in CSGO. But if it's at that point, then it could mean something else for your computer. But if you have a below average computer, this could potentially help you get above 60 FPS to potentially like maybe 100, 120, and then you could play it at a better FPS frame rate. But what it also means is you probably won't be able to record CSGO videos if that was your main, if that was what your main priority was. So like this could improve your FPS to play on, but probably not improve your FPS to record or live stream on. This next one's really simple. I'm gonna do is search up focus assist and these are the things that pop up while you're playing the game and when you're in this tab all you're gonna do is literally just turn everything off right here just so nothing pops up when you play turn off anything that you could potentially have that could pop up on your screen and you're also going to want to just close out of any programs that you have open if you're trying to play CSGO and get the most FPS possible so for example what you're gonna do over here say you want to close discord you'll right click it hit quit discord and it'll close a lot of your games. And another thing you can do is do control shift and escape. Again, it'll pop up the task manager and you can look through and see what kind of application that you have open that could be taking up your CPU, that could be taking up that could be taking up your memory. For example, we see we have a lot of Google Chrome tabs open and it could be hogging all the memory, which could be slowing down my gameplay. So what all you would do is you'd go to Google Chrome and hit end task. And by doing that, you would in turn close it and hopefully you'd be able to hopefully run CSGO better than what you previously were. So this next one, I've kind of done this a bunch, but I'm gonna go over it again. So what you're gonna do is go down to the search bar and hit control panel, type that in, and you're gonna go to control panel. And this honestly helped this current PC that I have right now a lot. And for this PC, I have, a, I have an RTX 2070 and a i5 96 or 9600 KF. So it can overclock and it has all of that ability. And it's a pretty decent PC. So what you wanna do is you're gonna go to hardware and sound after you go to the control panel and you're gonna go to power options and then what you're gonna basically wanna do is you can see my PC is currently on power saver. That means like for me, it just does not give my PC enough. My performance is greatly reduced when it's on power saver and you basically already have a high performance setting. So what you do is turn it on high performance. And what that looks like is when you check out the plan settings, you will go to this and once you're in this power options window and you'll see this thing called processor power management, what you wanna have is everything maxed and active. So 100%, 100%, so it never dips down. And it's helped my PC a lot to run a lot faster. And sometimes when you're not using your PC, it'll change to power saver. So after like say 30 minutes, it'll go to power saver and then you'll have to go back in and make sure it's on a high performance. And it seriously does make a difference. This might be the biggest point to hit home on is if you do this, you could potentially help your PC out a lot. Obviously, it might be different for a laptop because it actually has a battery. One of the next ways to improve your FPS is you gotta be on CSGO and then you're gonna go to the workshop maps. And if you don't have this current workshop, you need to look up the FPS benchmark map and you can do that by visiting workshops and you search up FPS benchmark and it should look something like this and you're gonna wanna connect to the FPS benchmark map and go. So I, I am loading into the FPS benchmark map and all you wanna do is literally go over here and click the recommended values for your PC and by shooting all of these, it'll edit your settings and then you're gonna go ahead and save it. And then you can honestly go through the FPS benchmark performance test. I'm not gonna go through it. All it's gonna do is go through and test how your computer will perform under certain circumstances. I'll actually leave a clip in showing what it's kinda of like. So I'm gonna go through it, I'm gonna record it, but I'm not gonna show the whole thing. I'm actually going through the smoke and I have like 60 FPS. That's actually crazy. But these are the kind of things it shows is animations through a bunch of models and chickens. And right now I'm recording and I am going through this test and I got like 250 frames and we're going through the smoke and I dipped down to like 60. Again, I'm also recording so it does take a toll on your PC. But now we got like 500 frames, but this is what the benchmark test is like. Those are all the steps I have to show you guys for this video. And if your PC still cannot run CSGO, which honestly it's not an easy game to run and buying the best PC for CSGO is something that might be a bit pricey. And if you guys wanna see a video where I try to make 
the model PC for CSGO. Let me know down in the comments below. It'll be honestly a fun video to make. Otherwise, I just recommend getting a new PC or upgrading your PC and focus a lot of your time trying to save money. And if you're trying to make money from CSGO and getting CSGO skins, you have a chance by going to our Twitter page, which is at IncompetentCS. And all I gotta do is retweet and like the tweets and you're entered in the giveaways. And just make sure you're constantly watching our videos. We upload daily and we post daily giveaways. So I cannot wait to see you guys in the next video. And Hopefully our team members will also be here for the future videos. Goodbye.